Okay, this is my uh, quick little uh, video on the Fisher F2. And I uh, purchased this for, was $199 a special that they had running. It uh, came with the base unit, which is the actual main part of the F2, and two coils. It has the smaller 4-inch sniper coil and then the standard 8-inch coil. And this is my own little setup. I also have my uh, little inexpensive OXO digging tool here. It cost me, uh, I believe it was $5 from my Lowe's. And I have put an edge on both sides of this so that it will cut plugs a little bit easier than the standard trowel. And then my cheapo Big Lot Special headphones, which were $7 and also has the inline volume control which uh, have seemed to work pretty good for me uh, just kinda showing you that it, you don't have to have real high-end equipment to get into this hobby and now I'll give a quick demonstration on uh, basically how it works for me this is the uh, display on the F2 you've got your basically over here to the left you have your sensitivity up down you have your discrimination notches over to the right and then you have the notch button which is down to the lower right hand corner the pinpoint button directly in the middle and then of course the power button on the left here and we'll go ahead and power this on you get your initial beep showing battery check and that it's functioning correctly now over here to the bottom right you have your battery meter Above it, you have the depth indicator. Then, of course, you have your different notifications for right now, when you first turn it on, you're in all metal mode. So it's going to show everything that it is looking for here. And then your sensitivity level is over here to the left. Now, again, as I said, it's showing iron, foil, nickel, pull tabs. Then you have zinc, dime, quarter, and as you press the discrimination up, it will start to remove the ones on the lower end, depending upon what you're looking for. And then, of course, it's always going to leave the dime and the quarter up there. And then the minus button brings them back. And the notch function on this is also very easy to use. Basically, you hit the notch button make sure we have everything showing. Hit the notch button and then up and down we'll move whatever you want to notch out and say I want to notch out in this iron. I'll go to where iron is gone, press notch again and then it is going to have removed iron and I'm going to be looking for everything else and to notch it back in you would just hit notch again irons back you hit notch again very 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 simple user friendly uh, easy to use machine definitely recommended for the beginner okay basically what I've done is put out some standard targets that uh, you will find when you're out coin shooting or detecting and uh, I'm going to show you differently well, basically what the display shows different depending upon what target you are going over what you're looking for right now I have it set to basically all metal mode and I'm just going to run it over a couple of the targets here and show you what it gives me now here we have basically your quarter so we're going to run that over the quarter and you'll notice on the display that it shows quarter and it also gives you the target rating in uh, the double digit numbers quarter is normally 80 82 on this and then it will give you over to the right again the depth now these are just surface fine so when you run it directly over and basically scrub it over the top it's going to show you that it's right there on the surface next one over nickel Nickels tend to read around 30 to 34 on here, and then again, it is going to show nickel on the display 
right up there is going to show it as a nickel. Next one over, you have your dime. And again, dimes read about 70, 71. And then again, it's going to show dime over here. And then you have your newer zinc pennies. And you can see there it's giving it a 61. And then it's showing it as zinc. And then your older copper pennies, which will pick it up, it will pick those up as a dime as well. Also, the one thing I was really impressed with this is the uh, target recovery. A lot of detectors I've used, you uh, basically, when you swing it over a target, if you have two targets that are relatively close, it won't pick one of them up because it's recovering from picking up the previous one. Now you can see down here, I've got, right here, I've got the zinc penny and then the dime. And just to show you how quickly this will pick up targets, they're only about maybe 10 inches apart. And you can see it's picking up both. And I can actually go in and slide them closer together here. Now, that's about 2 inches apart. And you'll see it's picking up just the zinc penny from the sound that it's making. If they are close to the surface and you're scrubbing the top, it'll hit both of them. But when you are going after a deeper target, it uh, will only pick up the one. But when you really get down and scrub them, if they're right on the surface, you'll see it'll bounce back and forth between nickel, I'm sorry, dime and your penny. Typical depth you figure if you're looking at something three inches, that's about six inches apart. And it will hit both of the targets. Now if you go in and we will set the discrimination up and discriminate out everything but your dimes, quarters, and larger. And again, we'll go over the dime. And you'll see it has discriminated out the penny. And we'll go in now and basically just bring everything back and then just to show you how the notch works we will notch out the nickel and hit notch again to accept and then we'll slide our nickel over a little bit now everything else it is going to be looking for with the exception of the nickel passes over the nickel picks up the dime and the zinc penny. And these targets are relatively close together. So you can see that it recovers from the targets very quickly. Now when you are going over fast, sometimes it will bounce around a little bit. But in general, it's very accurate. Again, you see the dime and your zinc penny, the copper penny, and the quarter. Now, I didn't have any trash with me to show you what show what uh, shows up for trash, but there is a metal screw top lid. Now these, I have found, most times will come up as zinc. And the older style pull tabs, I don't know if you can see that right down there. We'll go over that one. 
it also will show up as zinc, but the number is going to be a little bit lower on there. Again, this is just a quick demonstration to show how easy this device is to use. Uh, I've been very happy with it, uh, and I guess that is it. Thank you.